Hi. Hello. What's up? Welcome to my very last TBR of the year. This is this is my this is my December TBR. I'm gonna say this right now. I'm not gonna read all these, especially the way my reading habits have been recently. Just trash in the toilet. Not gonna happen. But you know what? It just felt incomplete to not do this. You know, I have one for every month since I started this channel, which was in May, I think. And so it just would not feel complete if I didn't wrap it up with a nice little December TBR that I will not follow. Okay, at least I'm self-aware. But in all seriousness, a few of these books I know for certain I'm gonna read. I know, I know. There were some books that I really wanted to finish before the end of the year, but unfortunately I don't think it's gonna happen. Like the Bad Reputation duet, I really wanted to read that before the end of the year, as well as <laughs> Binding 13 and Keeping 13, which I have been talking about for the last like three months. However, all three of those are like 600 page books. I just, I don't think I can jump into reading nothing to reading 600 page books. No pressure, I don't really care. I just wanted to film this just because. Look at my cup. Look how appropriate it is. It says death by TBR. I got this for my birthday for my friend Melly. I've never seen a better representation of me than this. That is literally my brain. And I love it. I just wanted to say that because <laughs> I thought it was appropriate for this video. Um, anyway. Let's just get started. So I have some Kindle books I want to read. The first couple are Christmas books because it obviously is December. Nice little holiday book. Hopefully these ones will be good because Christmas books, not usually my jam because I just find them to be a bit too cheesy. So I picked out a few and hopefully they will be just like good, nice holiday romances without being just a disaster. First one being Love Light Farms by B.K. Borison. I don't remember the author because I don't have the book with me right now, but it is on KU. I really do want to read this. I wanted to read it last year. I downloaded it last year. Didn't get around to it. So I want to read it this year. I don't really know what it's about. Judging by the cover, it looks like a nice little holiday romance. So that is option number one. I've heard good things about this. So I have some hopes. And if I like it, then there's two other books to read after that. Another one I want to read is The Christmas Blanket by my queen Candy Steiner. This one won't disappoint me, I know. I'm pretty sure this is more of like a short story. I don't think it's a full-on novel. I think it's a little bit shorter, but I've seen her posting about it recently and I was like, I did not know you had a Christmas book. Fake fan. But I'm excited. I have a feeling it'll be great and I will love it because I love Candy Steiner. I love her books. I haven't read one in a little bit, so I think this will be nice, especially if it's short and I can fly through it. That's just what I need. I am sure it will deliver. A new release that I want to get to is when what's it called where where time stands still by ns perkins this is her newest book it just came out last month i don't know if it's a christmas book i think it might take place in the winter i'm pretty sure i read on the back that one of them has like a christmas tree farm so it could be christmasy the cover looks very wintry i don't know i'm sure this one will be sad i remember reading the synopsis and one of them is like dying or something i don't know ns perkins tends to write emotional books her first one i did not really like her second one i loved the infinity between us that is the book that i love and so i'm looking forward to reading her new one like i said it's on ku beautiful cover gives me winter vibes gonna try to pick it up and then the last book that I want to read that's on my Kindle is Kill Switch by good old Penelope Douglas. This is book three in the Devil's Night series. If you've been keeping up, I have been reading one of those a month. Started with Corrupt in October, read Hideaway in November, and this month I want to read Kill Switch. <sighs> Listen, I have not really been enjoying the series so far, but everyone that I've talked to or seen reviews from have all said that the second two books are the best and you just gotta keep reading to get to the other ones. Now this third Book. I'm pretty sure it's about Damon. I do not like him at all. He's a horrible person and I just don't know how he could possibly re be redeemed. But like I said, everyone that I've ever talked to about the series was like, Damon's book is the best. I'm like, how? How? I think I'm gonna listen to it, see how it goes. Hopefully I will enjoy it. I do have higher hope. I am intrigued. I will say that I'm very intrigued to see how this man can be redeemed because right now he is literally awful. Um, so yeah, that's, that's Kill Switch. And then I have a nice stack of physical books that I may or may not read. First of which, Icebreaker by Hannah Grace. I feel like I'm the last person to read this, but when I posted this in my book haul, 
when I, no, when I talked about it in my book haul, everyone was like, you're gonna love it. This book is so good. It gives me like off campus vibes from Look Off With Love vibes. I love both of those books, all right? And I know this is like a hockey ice skater college romance. It has, it has the ingredients, the spices, all the things that make a good book for me. I feel like I will like this. I just need to get myself to pick it up. But it's also like 400 pages. What happened to 300 page books? I just wanna know. I'm getting off topic, but this one I've heard a lot of good things about. This one a lot of people suggested to help me get out of a reading slump so I feel like if I can just pick it up then it will be good. I, I have some some high expectations for this but we'll see. <laughs> we shall see. And then another one I'm fairly confident I will get to is Letters to Molly by Devney Perry. This is book two in the Mason Jar series. I read book one which is called The Birthday List last month and I really enjoyed it. It was a very good book. I love Devney Perry's writing. I enjoyed the characters a lot. It was a good book and I've heard really good things about this one especially. This follows the girl from the first book, her brother Finn, follows him and her best friend who is Molly obviously. I'm pretty sure this is like a second chance romance. Were they married? I think they were married. I don't know, they have kids together. They went through it. You get kind of a little bit of their backstory in the birthday list. So you kind of know what's going on. Things are weird, things are tense between them. I think they're separated. And so this book follows them obviously <laughs> and their, their journey of getting back together, right? I didn't expect to open my mailbox one summer morning and find an old letter stuffed between bills and a supermarket flyer. Penned in a familiar handwriting dated over 15 years ago, the letter was written to me after my first date with a man I'll never forget. Week after week, new letters appear. Each marks an event in history of our epic love affair. Each heals a wound, each holds the confession from the one who still owns my heart. The letters are full of promise, hope, and love, but truth be told, I wish I could unread them all because the man who wrote these letters is not the one sending them. <laughs> Can't wait to read this one. And this next one is a reread. I've been really enjoying rereading books recently. It's definitely helping me feel more motivated to read. And one book in particular, I think is long overdue for a reread. Good Old Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren. I've read this book twice already. So if I read it again, that will be three, three times. It's so good at math. I haven't read it this year and I really want to. This book is so comforting to me. It just fills me with something that I can't, explain. Like it just feels like a hug. It. I love these characters with my whole heart. I love their story. I love everything about this book. I've just been itching, absolutely itching to give it a reread. I'll probably again listen to the audiobook just because you know I know the story so well I can just throw it on, have good old listen to it. It needs to happen and I think before the year ends I, I this yep hello. So these last few books I have are all thrillers because as I mentioned in my wrap-up I have been loving reading thrillers recently like loving it so so much I've been having the best time. They haven't all been hits some of them have been misses but overall I've been I've been having a really good time and I want to find more thrillers that I love. So I have a nice little pile of some options again we'll not get to all these but a couple I think I know for sure I will get to let me just show you rock paper scissors by Alice Feeney this book um I don't know <laughs> I got it recently I've been saving it to read in the winter because hello it looks so wintry I'm very excited to read this because I've heard really good things about it I don't know much else about this but I'm excited and then I also want to read Local Woman Missing. This one I don't really know anything about and I haven't seen too much about it. I think a couple people recommended it to me when I asked for Thriller Rex. But other than that, I don't really know what it's about, but I was at Target the other day. Oops, let me just, it just accidentally fell into my cart. This one gives me similar vibes to Rock, Paper, Scissors, just like in the, the covers are similar because they both have trees on Goodreads. It has very high ratings. That gets me excited. Another one that I talked about in my book haul is The Housemaid. Another one that I've just been seeing a lot recently. This one was also recommended to me a lot. This one was obviously about the housemaid and things get weird. It's a thriller. You know, like I said, secrets, lies, truths, all that good stuff. I've heard this one. The plot twist is insane. That is the one thing I do know. It is on KU, so maybe I'll download it and read it on there. It's a possibility. And then this one is another maybe. This one is on like the lower end of my TBR, meaning that it probably won't happen, but it might. 
it is on my mind. The Last Party by Claire McIntosh. I've never read anything by Claire McIntosh, but I've heard good things about some of her other books. This one is brand new. It just came out and it's another like murder mystery type of thing. It takes place on a lake house on New Year's and that just sounds fun. Like this just sounds like a good time. Someone gets murdered and then everyone's a suspect. Good, good stuff. And then the last book I have on my TBR is another book that I would love to reread and that is No Exit by Taylor. Taylor Adams. I have never reread a thriller before because once is usually enough, you know? You're not gonna like go back and be shocked by all the things that happen. But this one, I just really want to reread for some reason. This is probably my favorite thriller of all time. It's been, I think, two years since I've read it, so I don't remember all the details. I remember this one scene that was very disturbing and I remember some of the plot twists so it won't be like as crazy or shocking as the first time obviously but ah uh, this book is just so good if you haven't read it I highly recommend and I feel like this is another good one that I could listen to on audio because I already know things that happen but I just want I want to refresh to read it because there's a movie out on Hulu it's been out for a while now but I haven't watched it yet so I'm very intrigued in the movie because I love this book. Anyway, if you didn't know, this one is about a girl named Darcy. She's trying to get home. It's winter time. There's a snowstorm. She gets stuck at this rest stop with these strangers and in the back of one of the cars at the rest stop, there's a child in a crate. So it's crazy. It all takes place in the span of like one night because they're all stuck there. They can't go anywhere. They can't call for help because everything is shut down. The snowstorm is crazy. These characters are insane. You don't know who you can trust. You There's someone, someone in this room that you're stuck in literally has a child in their car and you need to figure out a way to protect yourself, save the child, get out of there. Oh, it is so good. It's so suspenseful. It's kind of disturbing very creepy the atmosphere the the setting so good so i'm probably gonna listen to this and then watch the movie because i'm very very intrigued and this is just such a good thriller so there you have it that was my december tbr my last tbr of the year another thing to just set myself up for failure but it's all good it's all good <laughs> yeah i'm looking forward to reading some of these books if I do, great. If not, whatever. I don't really care. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye! Bye!